Hello everybody, welcome to the video, my name is Crypt and in this video we are going to be talking about possible issues that you could encounter while using the Logitech software. Now many of you use the Logitech Lua scripts, okay? So the Logitech app has a feature that allows you to create scripting, right? They allow you to create scripts, right? And many of you may have noticed that sometimes when you go inside of a game, right? When you join a game, your script doesn't work, right? But your script may also may work in your desktop, right? So to fix it is very easy. But now before we actually proceed, let's just make sure one thing first. The first thing you need to make sure is go inside the Logitech app, okay? And make sure you're in the correct profile. So as I see right here, I have many profiles, right? I can scroll this down one second. Hold on. Okay. I can scroll down over here and you can see that I have many profiles, okay? Make sure you're in the correct profile. So currently I'm in the desktop profile, okay? But if you wanna add any other app, like if, if your script is located in the Cyberpunk uh, 2077 um, profile, then you wanna make sure that you activate this specific profile, okay? Make sure that it's activated. All right, once that's done, okay? Make sure that you understand that every single time you switch tabs. So if I click on the desktop right now, if I click on the background over here, it's gonna go back to desktop. So make sure you keep that in mind. You don't wanna switch tabs, okay? So make sure you go to the profile that your script is on, okay? And then let's see if my script is actually active. So let's go over here to games and applications. I'm currently in my Cyberpunk profile, okay? And over here in script, I'm gonna click right here in this little icon, okay? And then over here it says active low script none, which means that no script is active. I have nothing active at the moment, which means that nothing's gonna work in game. So let's make sure I activate this first. Now, currently, I also don't have any script on my computer. So you, of course, if you don't have anything, you want to create a new Lua script. Okay. So you're going to click that. Now, as you guys can see, look what happened. My Logitech app looked like it froze. Okay. And that can happen every once in a while. The Logitech app is honestly one of the worst apps I've ever used um, in terms of like bugs. Okay. Now, if this happens to you, if your Logitech app is frozen or it's never opening or anything like that, what you want to do is you want to close it completely by going inside your test manager. Okay, so let's do that right now. So over here, I'm in my test manager and you guys can see I have the Logitech GHub app right here. I'm gonna click end task. Now, this is not enough. Once you have done this, you still need to find every other piece of Logitech GHub process that might be activated. To do this, you're gonna click more details and then you're gonna press L, okay? And you're gonna look for LG Hub updated, okay? Delete this one too, so end task. Do it one more time. And that's it. Once you have done that, you're gonna go down here to the search. You're gonna type Logitech, you're gonna right click, and then you're gonna click on run as administrator. You're gonna click on yes. And then it's gonna execute and it's gonna open. Hopefully now it's gonna open properly and with no bugs. Okay, so let's see. All right, cool. Now let's do the same thing again. Let's activate the Cyberpunk profile. That's the wrong one. There you go. Let's go to games and applications. Let's go to scripting. And now let's see if I can create. There you go. Now we found every single one of my scripts. Okay. And now if found, I can also create a new Lua script if I want to. Okay. That's good. Um, if you want to find where you can download Lua scripts, you can go to my Discord channel. Keep in mind that on my Discord server, I do have uh, um, some Lua scripts available that you can just easily download. Like for example, I have this one over here, which is a quite advanced Lua script, okay? I have the other ones over here above. You can just easily come over here and just download these Lua scripts right here, okay? It's located on my Discord server. The Discord server link is in the description of this video. All right, so I have this script right here, okay? Which basically just moves my mouse down, okay? Uh, let me actually take this part off of it. There you go. It's gonna move my mouse down. Okay, so as soon as I press non-lock, okay, non-lock, okay, non-lock is on my keyboard, and then I press left and right click at the same time. Okay, it's gonna move my mouse down like that, as you guys can see. All right, there you go. Okay, now this is working on my desktop. Okay, so to make it work on your game, all you have to do is simply open Logitech GHub as administrator. Okay, if you have done that, this should also work on your game, okay? If it is working on your desktop, it should also be working in game, okay? Now, of course, if your script is not working in game, okay? Then you need to make sure that you're checking for any errors. So you need to come in here, okay? Inside the script, inside the script and check for errors in here, okay? There could be errors, okay? 
I just fixed a few errors before I resume this video, but that could be a simple error such as you having an extra end in here, okay? And then there you go, you have a syntax error now, okay? So simple errors are gonna stop your scripts from working even on your desktop. So you wanna make sure that you fix that issue, okay? Make sure that you go in here, turn on the scripts, try actually, try the function out, see if everything's working properly, okay? And if it is, then you're good to go, all right? Um, so that's it. So that's how you fix Logitech G Hub. So basically what I mentioned is you need to, first of all, close the Logitech G Hub app completely. So you go inside your test manager, you completely close it. Look for any sub processes that you might have and close it. Okay, cool. Then you open it again as administrator. So you need to make sure you have administrator privileges on your computer and open as administrator. Okay. Once you have done that, you need to make sure that you have your profile active. Now, keep in mind that if you're using a profile, like let's say I put the um, my scripts inside the desktop profile, right? So I'm, right now I'm in the desktop profile right here, right? If I put the scripts in this one, right? That means that once I open Cyberpunk, right? For example, I will not, again, I will not be able to use the scripts because the script is in another profile. So make sure you have the scripts in the correct profile, okay? Those are things to keep in mind. Those are very important things. Those are simple mistakes that you might be making and it's causing you several hours of stress to find this video and in the end it's just a simple solution of just making sure you're in the correct profile now a lot of times a lot of times logitech may actually not detect your game okay and if that's the case let's say you're playing a game and you notice that this page doesn't like it still says desktop right it didn't change to whatever game you're playing like let's say i'm playing PUBG, right but it still says i'm, I'm on desktop over here right even though i'm clearly on PUBG, i, I clicked on PUBG, i'm inside of PUBG but it says I'm playing, uh, I'm in a desktop, right? That means that the Logitech app is not detecting the, the process, it's not detecting the process initialized, okay? Basically what it does is it's constantly scanning your computer for the for processes, okay, that match simple specific games. And if for some reason it's not able to find the process, it's not going to change to that game. It's that simple, okay? Now, you can click over here with scan now to scan your computer, okay, for um, possible processes. They might have a name that matches one of these games, or you can also click over here on add a game application. Okay, so let's say again, let's say the Logitech G Hub app is not detecting your game. Let's say you're inside of the game and you you have a second monitor. You can clearly see that the Logitech G Hub app still says that you're playing on desktop. Then all you need to do here is you're gonna have to add the process, the uh, executable, what's initializing the game. To do this, you first you need to first initialize the game. So you need to first open the game. Okay, and then once you have the game open, okay, I'm gonna show an example here. Once you have the game open, so let's say the game is OBS, right? Just an example here. Let's say my game is OBS Studio. Once you have that game open, what you're gonna do is you need to actually find where that game is, okay? So you need to actually be able to right click on it and click on open file location. Now I cannot do this right now because I need to click on more details. So let's click on more details. OBS Studio, right click, okay? And now I cannot do it yet. So I'm gonna click on this arrow button right here. And now let's look for OBS, it's right there. Open file location. So now I'm inside of the folder where OBS is, okay? So this is the executable that I saw in Test Manager. What you wanna do is you wanna copy this link over here on the top, okay? Copy it. And then over here in Logitech, you wanna click on Add Game or Application. And then what you wanna do over here at the top, you just simply wanna paste it. So you wanna paste the link just like that. And then you're gonna go exactly to where the folder is. Okay, and then you're gonna click on OBS 64 executable. And now, now what's gonna happen is you're gonna find OBS somewhere in here, okay? So OBS is gonna be somewhere in here. I just gotta look for it. Give me one second. Sometimes you might not have an icon, which is annoying if that's the case. Oh, there you go, it's right here, okay? So now that means that every single time, so let me just show you guys something real quick. Quick example. So right now, if I click on the desktop, Right. It changed to desktop profile. If I click on OBS, it changed to OBS at the top right there. You can see, okay? So that's how this works, okay? Logitech G Hub definitely has a lot of bugs and, you know, it glitches out every once in a while. Sometimes it doesn't open, um, but, you know, there are fixes for it. So in this video, I mentioned several fixes that hopefully will help you out in um, uh, coming up with a solution. Now, of course, if this video did not help you, simply go to my Discord server and Tell me about it, okay? Mention me, like, hey, Crypt, uh, I'm having, I'm still having issues. Could you help me out? And I'll try my best to help you out, all right? All right, thank you for watching this video.
and make sure to check the other videos in my channel if you find this interesting.